drawing wavefront diagram of uh, refractions. This is from deeper region to shallower regions, and this is uh, from shallower regions to deeper regions. Eh? Okay, let's start with this one first, okay, from deeper regions to shallower regions. Uh, the very first things uh, that you need to do is you draw a guide, a guidelines, uh, a guide direction uh, for the directions of the wave. Uh, okay, so for this one, let's draw the guide. Uh, let me use green, green color for the directions. Uh. Okay, so this is the directions of the wave. Uh. Directions of the wave. Always remember the directions of the wave is at right angle to the wave fronts. Uh. Okay, this is the wave fronts. Uh, and then we have the normal. Let me draw the normal. Okay, so this is the normal. Okay, now this is from deeper to shallower regions. Eh? Deeper to shallower regions. So tell me what is the directions after refractions. I gave you two ones. So this one and this one. Okay, A and B. Eh? Let me label it. This is A and this is B. Uh, this is the directions. Eh? It's the directions. Uh, from deeper to shallower regions. Eh? So the wave will be refracted in the direction B or A. Deeper to shallower. B or A. This is just directions, eh? not yet the wave front. Eh? Just the directions only. The answer is B. Eh? Okay. From deeper to shallower region, eh? it, is it will be refracted closer to the normal. Now this is the initial directions. Eh? Okay. This is closer to the normal. This is away from the normal. And from deeper to shallower region, it will be refracted closer to the normal. So the answer is B. Yeah? Answer is B, closer to the normal. Okay. So let's erase this. Eh? Erase this, all this. After we have the directions of the refractions, eh? okay, then we can start drawing our wavefront diagram. Let me use uh, yellow for the wavefront diagram. Always remember the wavefront diagram is. 90 degree eh? perpendicular perpendicular to the uh, directions of the wave directions of the wave eh? 90 degree okay and then uh, make sure that your wave length is shorter okay the wave length is shorter now after drawing this uh, then you can erase your guides eh? all the guides you can erase it Okay, so, uh, so this is the answer. Okay, this is a re the, the the refracted wave. Huh? So one, you, you must show that the directions of the wave huh, is refracted closer to the normal. The first thing, and second, you must show that the wave length is shorter. This one, the wave length longer. The wave length is the distance between the wave front. Huh? This is the wave length. Okay, so this is the lambda d. This is lambda s. Lambda s must be shorter. Okay, so this is how we uh, draw the wavefront diagram. Okay, from deeper to shallower regions. From shallower to deeper regions, it will be refracted away from the normal. This is the directions. Okay, and it will be refracted away from the normal. So away from the normal. After you have the directions, then you can sketch your wave front. Uh, the wave front is 90 degree, yeah? 90 degree at right angles to the directions of the, mo the wave, propagations of the wave. Yeah? Okay, and at deeper regions, the wave length is uh, longer. So therefore, you must show that the wave length is longer. And after drawing the Wave length, then you can erase the guide. Okay, erase the guide, and uh, so that is the answer. So you see, it's uh, refracted away from the normal, and then the wave length is longer.